Today I'm working on a Mercedes C280. It's uh, 2007. Just making a quick video talking about something I see pretty often on these. This one has secondary air injection faults, but um, the pump hasn't been replaced yet, but the pump is completely seized. When I do an output test on it, the pump doesn't run. But um, what you see a lot of times is these cars come in with a pump that looks brand new and um, it's already failed again. Uh, the problem is usually is these, uh, these gate valves. These are the valves that um, they open and close with a with a little with a little uh, vacuum line that runs to them, and that's what actually opens to allow the air pump to send air into the uh, exhaust side of the uh, cylinder head or the exhaust manifold. Um, the uh, the gate valves a lot of times they stick they stick open, and what that causes is the uh, when the pump is commanded to stop running, the exhaust backs up and sends the exhaust fumes and uh, water and everything else uh, right into the um, vacuum pump and then it prematurely fails. So there's two of them, there's one per bank. It's not exclusive to Mercedes, all these other cars have the same kind of thing. They're just more common, they fail more commonly on Mercedes from what I see. I've also replaced them on Audis and Volkswagens and BMWs and all kinds of other things. But if you have the car running and up to temperature and um, the pump should time out pretty quickly if the pump is no longer running. If it's running for five or 10 minutes, you're no longer gonna be, the pump's not gonna be commanded to run anymore. So the control solenoid that sends vacuum to these should no longer be operating. But if you have exhaust coming out the other side of this, um, this pump, so right here, you know, you got exhaust coming out here. That means one of these is stuck open. So you have to figure out the cause of that and which one is. So pretty easy to do on these. You can pull the hose right off at the um, at the at the pump, you can see actually a smoke coming out, and you can plug off the plug off the gate valve and see if you can play the exhaust right here. I can see this one is stuck open, and then check the other one the same way and see if you have exhaust coming through here. If you want to just make 100% sure that you don't have a problem with the vacuum control valve that actually feeds vacuum here, you can pull this right off, or you can pinch this off just to verify that there's no vacuum being fed to this, commanding it open. But um, that's less likely and less common on these. Usually it's the valve itself that sticks. So what you wanna do is rather than just sticking a pump on it when your pump is bad, check those. Make sure those are good. Make sure you don't have exhaust coming into it. That's, and uh, yeah, that's all. This one, you can actually hear the exhaust pretty loud through the, <laughs> through the air pump. It's a pretty extreme case, but yeah, something to check. Thanks for watching.